Welcome back to the newsfeed late night. Now, as we continue following the metric rewrite debate, Afri Forum has said that the basic education minister, Angie Mutsega, does not care about pupils. This is in response to her announcement that pupils would have to rewrite two leaked papers on the 15th and the 17th of December. Afri Forum campaign officer for strategy and content, Natasha Fenter, joins us now to talk about this. Natasha, good evening and thank you very much for your time tonight. So the minister then insists that uh, the papers would have to be rewritten on the 15th and the 17th of December. Yes, indeed. That was the decision taken. Um, we feel that it was a premature decision taken by the minister, um, although we don't, don't really know. And um, Judge Davis also uh, uh, summed it up nicely today when he asked um, who took the decision. Uh, was it Uma Lucy or was it indeed the minister who took the decision that the exams should be rewritten? Uh, because if, if it was Uma Lucy, um, which we could not gain clarity from the department and Umalusi's um, arguments today, uh, whether it was the department or indeed Umalusi who took the decision of the rewrite, then it is a premature decision because Umalusi would only have um, to decide in three months whether the integrity of the paper was compromised or not. And it was not their decision to take, it was the ministers as well as the director general of basic education. Did it reveal in her uh, answering affidavit how she reached the conclusion that uh, this particular investigation would be too wide yes, because the link was uh, digital uh, and therefore the likelihood of completing this, uh, at least within uh, this year, uh, was, uh, was almost impossible? Yes, well, um, from the arguments, we could not gather... Uh, what uh, research they've done since the 30th of, of November. They released an interim report, um, which uh, was compiled within six days. And in this report, they reached the conclusion that about 200 pupils had access to the, to the exam papers beforehand. And we'd like to know what research has been done in the meantime, which what investigations has been done. And to prejudice more than or almost 400,000 pupils uh, because 0.1% uh, had access to these exam papers are, is a bit extreme, according to us. And uh, that is also one of the submissions that we made today. Yeah. Well, my gathering was, was that the, the uh, uh, minister was late in filing her papers because she was exactly gathering the minutes of the meeting in which that decision was taken. Uh, were those minutes provided to you? But the minutes were provided, yes, in the answering affidavits, which we also received late. They were supposed to be um, with us at one o'clock yesterday. We only received it at five o'clock. Um, so, yes, we did receive the minutes, but we still feel the decision was uh, was irrational and also arbitrary and one-sided as well on the side of the department or Uma Lucy who ever took the decision because there was no consultation with any matriculant body group uh, or with uh, school governing bodies in this regard. Um, the minister just simply took the decision without thinking about the psychological well-being of the almost 400,000 students who completed this examination honestly and uh, deserve to get their marks. You're saying the actions of the minister indicate that she doesn't care about the pupils. Uh, she would say, Actually, it's the opposite. I, I actually care about the people, and that's why I want them to have results that have integrity, and I want to give them an opportunity uh, to rewrite those exams so that Umalusi can certify them. Well, that was one of the arguments that the respondents also made today in court. Um, well, the Department of Basic Education's own regulations stipulate that if a student did not commit any irregularities or did not benefit from any irregularities, they need to mark the papers and to release those marks. So uh, rather mark all the papers and then there are other means to determine which students um, may have cheated. You can look at previous marks and compare them with the final marks and then focus on these students instead of prejudicing all of the students, as we said, who wrote the exam papers honestly and who deserve to have their marks and not be prejudiced by now having to write the exam again. Uh, many of them have already handed in their textbooks. Uh, they don't have their notes. They may have gone on vacation or gone home. 
Uh, many students who are in hostels will have to go back to the schools. So it really will prejudice a large group of people due to a uh, few who cheated on the exams. Yeah. Is there any clarity on, uh, was an audit done, for example, on the distribution chain? Uh, was there investigations done to, to follow uh, the trail of the leak, except for that interim report, uh, which uh, indicate that 200 students were exposed to this? Uh, was there a, a forensic company that was employed to actually do that work? Well, not according to the, the papers that we received from the department and well, Uma Lucy, um, they've indicated that the Hawks were involved and some people were arrested. But according to the interim report, which is the only uh, evidence we have from the department at this stage, the, it was only these 200 pupils who had access. So as far as we know, no further investigations has been done in this regard. And as Afri Forum, then what are you uh, asking the courts to do? So obviously we are asking for a review of the decision so that the minister's decision will be set aside, that the papers be marked and the marks released, and then also that the um, department is prohibited from destroying these answer papers um, of the first writings of the examination. Yeah. Does our free forum know if those papers are still uh, in existence? Does the department still have them or maybe they have been destroyed already? Well, as far as we know, we, they still have them. Um, I don't think they've been destroyed as of yet. Um, at, uh, it would have been very irresponsible in the light of our urgent application if the department destroyed them. So um, we hope that the exam papers still exist and um, we trust that they do. All right, Natasha Fenter, I appreciate your time. Afri Forum's campaign officer for strategy and content there. The judge, Judge Norman Davis, expected to hand down his judgment on this matter.